Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have a bunch of new information to take a look at. We have a new Pokemon Legends Arceus advertisement, commercial, whatever you want to call it, that was recently broadcast on TV. We have a new Pokemon Home update and as well as that we have some other Pokemon general stuff to cover as well. So quite a bit of stuff to take a look at today. So if you are excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, this is the new promotional video, commercial, advertisement, whatever you want to call it, for Pokemon Legends Arceus. We actually had a different one not long ago, which broadcast on a Japanese um, program or whatever. I'm not sure what it was called, or if it was even a program. It was just something it, which aired in Japan, and it had a Pokemon Legends Arceus new gameplay trailer kind of featured in the middle of the segment um, but this is just a normal commercial advertisement you would see on TV so let's take a look at it and see what it's uh, what it's actually like so Nintendo switch so it's an antique shop and there is a pokeball there of the antique shop because obviously it's old as hell and I feel like there's a map there underneath it and then jumps into the gameplay this music, by the way. Bro. That music is insane. If that music is in the game, then I'm 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 happy. I'm that is that's a banger. Me. This has gotta be in the game, man. This is a banger. That is an absolute banger. That is an absolute banger right there. That is a capital B banger. Certified banger. Whatever you want to call it. That is bloody great. That is some fantastic music there. Um, so I don't think there's actually any new gameplay clips in this. I think it is just simply a new promotional advertisement or commercial. Um, maybe that's a little bit new. I'm not too sure. I don't think any of this is new. Uh, that's a cool um, shot there. But again, I think it's something we've already seen. This is just a battle with the, the red-eyed Pokemon. I can't remember what they're called, but they're like, like mini boss Pokemon. And if you catch them, they give you a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, and then obviously he's just playing on his Nintendo Switch there, um, taking on the Gyarados in the Agile style, I think that is. And then he just leans back and he has a good time. So yeah, nothing really crazy about this new promotional uh, video. But uh, again, the fact that we're just in the middle of the promotional cycle is heavily expected to see some sort of new trailer today showcasing a bunch of new information. Uh, a lot of people are expecting it. Didn't happen today because they usually get released. Um, well, at the time I'm recording, this is half two. They usually get released at two o'clock for me and that hasn't happened. So uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are usually the days they drop stuff. So from tomorrow onwards, I would have not high expectations, but get ready um, to potentially see some new information. But anyway, that was the new promotional advertisement video. I don't know whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I really, really like the audio in that. That's a really, really cool theme. Um, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that is in the new game. Um, next up, we're going over to this. This is a little something something. Um, a, a little bit of a comparison from the first trailer to um, the latest one that we got in the Japanese commercial. We already spoke a little bit about the Cyndaquil and how that's changed a little bit. Um, but so has the Rowlet and the Oshawa models as well. They've also changed a tiny bit, like the colorings have changed a little bit, the shadows have changed. Um, they just look a little bit better. The models have just been updated slightly. Uh, this was tweeted out by Pokekalos and they say, for the keenest of you, uh, for hashtag Pokemon Legends Arceus, some slight texture shadow changes were noticed on the latest ad versus the first trailer. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see um, that they're actually kind of going back and remodeling things, uh, and making them look just better. I mean, we saw how much Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl kind of improved since the reveal trailer of that up to when they are actually released and the game looks so much nicer. So I'm really, really happy that they've done the same kind of thing with Legends Arc. You can also see the colors have kind of changed as well. Like the matte is a little bit more, I don't know, like it kind of jumps out at you more a little bit. Like it's more red than this. I don't know if it's just because it's a different shot or what. Like we can obviously see the Cyndaquil is a little bit different because of the fire in the back, but we also uh, already went over that yesterday, so I don't really need to talk about that today. Um, but yeah, just a nice little kind of side-by-side um, -side comparison of how the game is still getting 
kind of updated a little bit uh, in, in the latest trailer. Next up, let's take a look at the Pokemon Home update. So this was posted four days ago. Uh, update info for the Nintendo Switch version 1.1.1 for Pokemon Home. Uh, so the Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home has been updated to version 1.1.1. This update includes the following. So you, this is what they should do with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and actually tell us what happens in the updates. Because whenever we get an update for BDSP, it's literally just they've changed the game a little bit to make it more nice to play or whatever. I don't know. It's just the stupidest kind of patch notes. This is what you need to actually see what has changed. But it says the issue where Pokemon were not registered to the Isle of Armor Pokedex after being transferred to Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield from the Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home has been fixed, which is also kind of mad that this was still a problem. Like these games came out a while ago now like the DLC came out a while ago now and Pokemon home is such a prominent part of Pokemon now like it's the big main hub of Pokemon you know which all games can kind of go into um, on the 3d well on the switch and stuff um, and so the fact that the that this was still an issue is kind of worrying I just feel like they're very slow at changing things that need to be changed and it says no to register your unregistered Pokemon download the update connect Pokemon home to Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield and then save your changes in Pokemon home but yeah that's I feel like that's quite a big issue um, that they've only just kind of got to which is you know very very interesting but uh yeah this isn't an update for anything to do with brilliant diamond and shining pearl again that is coming very very soon uh could be this month it could be the next update it could be february after legends arcus releases which i feel like is more likely um but of course with brilliant diamond and shining pearl we're still waiting on um obviously the pokemon home connectivity we're still waiting on wonder trade gts um there's still a few things also shaman event dark cry event still a lot of stuff that they haven't really told us about for pokemon brilliant diamond shining pearl which are clearly uh things that need to be addressed um but yeah that's just a new update for pokemon home finishing things off i wanted to go over this little article that was posted yesterday on my nintendo news it'll be linked in the description down below and it says uh shigeru omori wants to create pokemon games the game Gamers desire. So Game Freak has published a new article on its recruitment website where it entices people to work with the company and get themselves involved in the future of the Pokemon series. One of those involved in the feature is Shigeru Omori who is director behind the incredibly popular Pokemon Sword and Shield. He mentioned in the article that his main goal and those of the development team is to utilize new technologies to help create Pokemon games which gamers desire and give the feeling that Pokemon exists and live with us. The next entry in the Pokemon franchise is Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is out on the 28th of January. Here's what was said. 25 days away, by the way. That's actually kind of mad. Like, it's crazy how quick, like, it's just all come around. It only feels like it was announced but yesterday. Uh, even after 20 years, the Pokemon franchise is still going strong. Amori says that even if he thinks that the game is perfect, there are always new ideas after the project is over. I think that's kind of the wrong statement to say. I don't think Pokemon Sword and Shield were perfect. Like, not having a full Pokedex, I'm not going to get into it all right now, the whole National Dex thing. But I don't think having a full Pokedex is a perfect game. You know, I, I, I think that is clearly a, a massive problem. I, I don't think you have a perfect Pokemon game until you have every single Pokemon in it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how anyone could have looked to Sword and Shield and went like, yeah, that's perfect. Like, Sword and Shield were great. I loved them. I still love them to this day. But they were far from perfect. You know, there was a lot of issues with them. Uh, he added that Pokemon will continue to change with new technology, new development teams, and with our new ways of playing games. Omori wants to create Pokemon games that gamers desire and give the feelings that Pokemon exist and live with us. It might be surprising to hear that every Pokemon title is made in an entirely different way. Team members try not to rely on experience and enjoy tackling the new challenge given to them. I were emphasized that no matter the work, if you do it long enough, it'll eventually become tedious. With Game Freak, however, there are always new opportunities and positions, and being able to join in gear projects mean it never gets repetitive and never gets boring. With the vast amount of experience spanning over 20 years, a unique system that allows youth to experience failure and success as a company continuing to change generations, Pokemon will continue to evolve. So it sounds bright for the future of Pokemon from this article. Sounds like Gen 9 might be a big boy, um, but at the same time, if people are saying that, you know, Sword and Shield was a perfect game, that is also a little bit of a red flag, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, it's just a nice little article that I wanted to go over today, just to kind of show that, um, you know, that, that they are still promising things about the future of Pokemon. And again, we might get the Gen 9 announcement next month. Could be, 
which obviously is, is going to be very, very exciting year for Pokemon, I think, with Legends Arc is coming out, Detective Pikachu 2 probably coming out, uh, and then hopefully another game coming out in November. I think it'll be a big year for Pokemon. Anyway, though, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. All that good stuff. Uh, that's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.